view they contain two products that are actually completely different so the setting is 2002 we're in a I don't know a high school locker room and you know those things smell like warm urine body odor and probably some dude getting laid in the shower but there's one other smell or one other company you would associate with a high school locker room that's Axe Body Spray. I still use their deodorants too. Actually, pretty similar to these two are pretty similar. Not just not Axe and Old Spice because they typically go for two different crowds. But the Apollo and the Playmaker both smell pretty similar. The Apollo is a little bit stronger though, um, as far as scent goes. Axe deodorant body spray. Um, it does what it's supposed to do. I would I don't normally go for body sprays because body sprays are not very concentrated and you're kinda of getting a bad deal for your money if you pay any more than like four bucks. This is four ounces and this is you know three point four ounces. So you're getting a little bit more in here you would think. But you're actually not because You don't get, it's not as well, um, there's not as much fragrance in here, and you're going to go through it a lot quicker. A 100 ml bottle, you know, if you spray it just a couple times, could actually get you through about a year. This stuff, this stuff, if you apply it once a day, once or twice a day, you're going to get about a month, a month or so, a month and a half out of this, maybe but more like a month. Oh. This Axe though, the Axe Excite, smells just like grape juice. Or like grape Kool-Aid, I should say. Um, it's not bad. It's got a very artificial smell to it. You don't get a lot of the alcohol smell. Sorry, I've got a Zara Wanted on my hand. I love that stuff so much. Yes. And uh, it's pretty good. It lasts for, you know, three to four hours. Sewage is great, great little aroma level, projection is pretty good. And um, longevity is about four hours or so. This is not for like in place of cologne and especially not in place of actually taking a shower. Um, this is just meant for like you just get out of the gym or just get out of the workout, okay, go on about your day, go home and shower. This is not meant to um, be used in the same way as like a cologne is or a soap is. Um, yeah, so you should always wash yourself and don't depend on this to cover stuff up. Because even if it covers up the odor, that's bacteria causing the odor. Um, so you need to wash that off anyway. There you go. Axe site. Pretty good. Um, I don't use it every day, but I used it today. Yeah. And this Gillette aftershave. This stuff here is actually pretty good too. Um, but let me actually do something here. Um, the Gillette aftershave is actually pretty good too. It um, it's actually not as like alcohol heavy as you as one might imagine. Uh, there is a, a decent amount of alcohol in it, but it's not as bad as most aftershaves. Like that Daxton one right here. This stuff is straight up, man. It will burn like no tomorrow. You don't really get that with that one. And it's kind of got the fresh water scent to it. Um, I actually got a compliment off the aftershave, which you wouldn't think of because aftershave is pretty, pretty diluted. Uh, but you got a compliment off that. Good. Uh, I wouldn't, uh, can't wear it as a cologne, obviously. That's yeah, alright, it's not too bad. I, uh, and it works good too. Tightens up the skin, does what it's supposed to do. When you shave, you get little micro abrasions. And it takes care of those, closes those, tightens up the skin, does everything it's supposed to do. I think it's like four bucks or something. It's actually pretty good. Alright. Later.